What is up guys, the real Damon Jackson here and uh today I'm going to show you um the properties or the magnetic properties of manganese which I often call the forgotten metal because well I always forget it. And I don't know why because it has some pretty interesting properties. I I you know I I don't know. It's just kind of on the periodic table, and I never really mention it. I don't know. So, uh, I have my big neodymium magnet. Well, it's the biggest I got right now. And I got my little, um, vial of metallic manganese. You can see that pretty well, right? It's a little vial, a little ampule, and it says manganese on it. Come on. The camera won't focus on it, but it says MN manganese element 25. So I'm gonna uh, stick it in the hole in the styrofoam. And as you can see, because well, there's no water here, um, if I put it over, nothing will happen, nothing will change. But, um, well, before I tried this out the first time. I didn't actually know what the magnetic properties of manganese uh, were. I, I didn't know how it would react to a magnet. But I figured it out by testing this, and then I looked it up online later to make sure that I was right, and I was. So, hold on a second. I'll go fill this with, I'll go fill this with water. And editing magic. Now we're back. So, by the way, I'm using my phone to record this so I get a higher resolution. Sorry, my camera's shaking. I'm holding it with one hand. So it's very slightly moving. And uh, you can see how it kind of climbed toward the magnet. So I'm going to move it off of the wall. It's coming toward the magnet. Look at that. Oh, I touched it. See? So, uh, this proves that manganese is... Um, paramagnetic because it's very weakly attracted to a magnet um, it's not ferromagnetic because you know the particles don't align and stuff so you can't actually make this into a magnet yourself but yeah this is basically my way of testing out well a lot of people do this to be honest they use the water Test out magnetic properties, but what what the issue is is even if uh even if this water is good, I need a glass container because even if the water is sitting still for the most part, um the styrofoam will always be attracted to the edge. Watch it, it'll unless I just got lucky and it sits in the middle. I guarantee it's gonna touch this side. Probably because of static electricity. Yep, it touched the side. So, it's kind of hard to uh, get it isolated in the middle of the water like that, so uh, it's more sensitive. But it, when you do that, you can clearly see that it's attracted to a magnet. Yep. So that's all I got to show you, pretty much. Um, actually, I have an idea. I've been wondering if, uh, because I know uranium is paramagnetic, um, I wonder if uranium marbles are paramagnetic, too. Or if, um, the uranium being in a silicon bond with the glass and stuff. I wonder if that'll make it, uh, 
you know, not permagnetic or um, less permagnetic. Permagnetic, sorry. So, uh, hopefully I'll get some uranium metal soon. But right now I will try to test the marble. Hold on. i got to put my manganese to the side. Okay. Now, the uranium marbles only contain about 3% uranium by weight, so I don't expect it to react that much. Well, that's not doing anything. Well, it was a good try. Um, how about bismuth? We know it's diamagnetic, very diamagnetic, so I'll see if I can get it to be repelled by the magnet. Also, I guess uh, where I'm at, it's kind of on a slope as well, so. Pause magic. Bismuth crystal? Let's see. Alright, uh, it's confirmed, yeah. Diamagnetism. It's being repelled by the magnetic field. Ew, it's gotten a little bit of tarnish or something on there. Gross. I don't know how that happened. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way. Uh, watch, like, comment, and subscribe. And... This has been the Magnet Test with uranium marbles, uh, manganese, and bismuth.